Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about contextual awareness in virtual assistants, uh, what it is and why it's important. So let's jump right in. Uh, so what is it? What is uh, contextual awareness? Uh, essentially, this means the virtual assistant has the ability to understand and maintain context throughout a conversation. Um, put another way or given an example, what this would look like is, let's say that I'm looking to understand more about my spending history. Maybe what I wanna say is, hey, I wanna know how much I spent last year in Orlando, Florida on Starbucks. Okay, so first off, the intent is my spending history, right? I wanna know about my spending. Next are the entities that are extracted. So we have Orlando, Florida as a location, and we also have Starbucks as a, as a merchant, right? Uh, so what we can do then is virtual assistant answers that question. And then I can say, ah, well, how about, uh, how about in Detroit, Michigan on, uh, you know, on food and restaurants? Uh, or maybe what about in New York City on everything, right? So each time when I'm re-specifying what I'm looking for, the different parameters or entities that I want, the virtual assistant, you notice I'm not saying I want to know my spending history again. It's the virtual assistant already understands and is able to maintain that context of, okay, this person's talking about their spending history and they're changing different parameters for what information they want. This, this is incredibly, incredibly important because a virtual assistant that can understand and maintain context can deliver a phenomenal experience to the end users. And this will drive an increase in the amount of interactions and conversations that the virtual assistant can contain on its own. Um, another way that we can think about this, so that was the first way of thinking about contextual awareness. The other way is for sub or nested intents, and also if we're changing channels. So both of these are a similar type of experience, but in different ways. Uh, first, with subintents, this would mean, let's say that I want to, um, you know, let's say that I want to book a flight, right? I want to book a flight from, uh, from San Diego to Dallas, Texas. Um, I want to book it for, you know, leaving next Monday and then coming back the following Friday. Um, <clears throat> so when I get into that flow, the virtual assistant is looking for all of that information, right? So let's say that I just say, hey, I want to book a flight from San Diego. And then I say, ah, well, hey, what is the weather like in Dallas, Texas? Then we're breaking out of the booking a flight intent, and we're going into a weather forecast intent. But then the ability to maintain context means that after the virtual assistant says, ah, the weather in Dallas is blah, then what it can do is say, okay, well, hey, let's finish booking that flight. I need to know where you're going and when you're going there. And then the user can provide that information to the virtual assistant. So that's another way in which contextual awareness is incredibly, incredibly helpful because it allows you to deliver an experience that honestly wasn't even available in the past couple of years. It's something that's really being developed and designed right now. And finally, you also have the ability to maintain context across channels. So what does this mean? Let's say that a virtual assistant is you know, on a mobile app, it also is on the website, and maybe it's in the IVR as well. So let's say that uh, a customer calls in and they call the contact center and they say, hey, I want to, um, you know, I want to, I want an update on my order, right? I just ordered uh, some, some new board shorts and a t-shirt last week, and I want to know what the status of the order is. So the virtual assistant is like, okay, I understand what you're saying. Maybe though, the experience is better on a mobile phone or on a website. And the virtual assistant can say, hey, um, you know, I would like to transfer you to our web experience. Is that okay? Then I can show you all of your order information as well. Sure. So maybe the virtual assistant texts the user a, a link to go to, and then they pick up the conversation on a web chat channel. Now, if the virtual assistant is able to maintain context, what can happen is on the web channel, it already understands it's that the user is calling in or chatting in about an order. 
and they want to, you know, gather that information so they can understand what's going on with the order. So now the virtual assistant can pick up at the exact same location, but in web, and the same experience can be had if a user goes from speaking to the virtual assistant to a live agent in the contact center. So regardless, if you're switching channels and going to a live person, or if you're switching channels just to have a different or better optimal experience, the virtual assistant can still maintain context, making sure that the user is still able to fulfill whatever request they had. So those are three ways from kind of simple and basic all the way to advanced and a, a little bit more complex that a virtual assistant can maintain context and be contextually aware through a conversation. And again, this is really, really important because a virtual assistant that is uh, <clears throat> able to maintain context is going to be able to deliver a next level of experience to the end user. And at the end of the day, the goal is to deliver extraordinary experiences because users will be more apt to use the virtual assistant if their experience is good. So that's a little bit about contextual awareness, what it is and why it's important. Thank you so much for listening and I look forward to our next conversation, bye.